Hi there, and welcome to Bustinet. Yes, this is the FM Tactics Show. It's a show where you can submit your tactics and we'll use them in Gloucester City. Uh, all kinds of tactics get featured on the show. Uh, we've got great tactics. We need some guys sending tactics uh, that are applications and they want some advice. Other people sending tactics because uh, they might have an issue with the tactic. And we have, of course, it's a, it's a two-way street. I get to have some fun with some unpredictability. And you guys uh, get a chance to see how, how I play your tactic in a different way. So if you want to send in your tactics, please use the uh, send, please use send space Dropbox. Just upload the link there and, you know, uh, share the link in the description below or just find me like some this armistice found me on the forums so you know if you can find me just tell me you want me to have a look at the tactic and i'll do my best to get it featured on our show a quick update of how we how we handled last season now we're already a few matches into this season last season well mm, i got kicked out of the champions league by napoli <laughs> And we only managed to lift the League Cup, but we finished the season strongly. Uh, we lifted a title in the League Cup. This season, I decided, well, we have an issue with the team. In terms of depth, we don't have a lot of depth. Um, 28 years old, 29, someone they're getting old. And if you look at my attributes of my players, like, let's look at Olmedo. He's a starter last season. These are his attributes. At pretty average, some of them are okay. But if you're looking at, uh, like, for my defenders... Where is Webster? We have Webster here. He's 33 years old. He was a starter the whole season. But look at his positioning for a central defender. Only 13. This is the best defender I had. Uh, and uh, this season we are... And, this season, we are really depending on players like Jackman, who's, um, I brought him in last season to strengthen our defense. And our strikers, well, Zay Gomez hasn't been exactly flying off, a, you know, doing very well. He scores a lot of goals, probably because of the way I set up my tactics. And fullbacks, we've got Sergio Zuniga. This is an average fullback. Not a fantastic, but he actually plays really well as an inverted wingback. And uh, we've got Alpa Kuchika, another youngster, 15 for passing, doing quite well now, developing very well. I think give him another two more seasons and he will definitely be a, a player to be reckoned with. Uh, and uh, what, what about this player, Bettino? I only signed him because the English home, of the English homegrown rule because I didn't have enough English homegrown players in my team. So uh, we, I, I, I did a search, English homegrown. He showed up and I went, okay, he looks kind of good and I took him in. He's all right, he's average, he's nothing too fantastic. Uh, between the sticks, we've got Sam Johnson, 35 years old, and we've got Jack Butlin, 35 years old. We haven't really, uh, like... Um, we haven't really looked at goalkeepers, so it's about time I did that, right? But one thing I do hate about goalkeepers in this game is the fact that their, their vision doesn't really improve. I mean, I have never seen this. I mean, um, my goalkeepers all have low vision. I hope this is fixed for FM18. My understanding is they're looking at it. All right, so let's take a look at um, Armistice 532. Armistice wants to create a tactic that is counter-attacking. Now, a lot of formations have counter-attacking built into them. The match engine in itself has got an automatic counter-attacking moment in the game. And if you're depending deep and boom, suddenly all of a sudden you see those dots running across the screen. They're counter-attacking. Um, but does it mean that counter-attacking has to be created in your tactic? No. You create elements that encourage it to happen. That's the first thing. Second, you need to understand that every formation can have counter-attacking built into them. Third, you can do it on any mentality or shape, but how it plays out will be different. Look at Liverpool. Attacking mentality, they have counter-attacking built into them. You've got defensive sides who have who play sit deep and they just you know launch balls forward. So how do you set up a counter-attacking system then? Is is there one way? You no, know, counter-attacking itself is something that happens in a game, right? Um, it's the way you want to transition from defense. You want to transition from defense quickly into attack. So what how do you do this? Now, how you do this really depends on the roles and duties because you got to think of three things. You got to think of first, you got to find, you got to think about how you're going to create space. Then, secondly, you need to ask yourself who's going to attack that space. And finally, you got to look at players who can find others in that space. So, you got three things to consider here. So, if you're looking at this tactic, the first thing I want to ask myself is okay, um, hmm, are there players attacking space? Now, Honestly, no. You've got a DF on holding position. You've got another DLF here holding position. So both of them are holding position. Now, the final thing is, are there players in your tactic looking actively for players in space? Now, in this tactic, I have to assume that everything's going to happen automatically. So we go on, close down more, tackle harder, get further forward, move into channels. 
Mm -hmm. Then we got this guy who's been told to hold forward. So this Zuniga is going to attack channels. Then we've got Agostina who's an attacking playmaker who dribbles more and more risky passes. Okay, this guy is not finding players in his in space. He himself is attacking space. He himself is carrying the ball. So he's not actively uh, sitting back and going, okay, is there a player I'm going to find a pass to? No, he's not. He's like, he's he's a bit more, he's going to bring the ball up. So you need a player here who can really handle the ball. So what other options do you have? You've got a wing back on defense who crosses from deep. Then you've got a wing back on support. So basically in your transitions, you don't really, you haven't really created a tactic which is counter-attacking. The next thing we do is analyze our squad because analyzing our squad will tell us what kind of options we have. And I'm going to zoom in on just a few attributes. Here, uh, I'm looking at positioning. I want to know whether my central defenders are whether they are mentally aware and whether they will be ready to deal with crosses. This will influence on whether or not I can use lower mentality. So here I've got positioning 15 for my central defenders. 14, 14, pretty average. Kevin Jackman is definitely going to have to start. Abel Calado is, I'm retraining him as a central midfielder, but I have options here. Bothwick Jackson is still 15, that's not too bad. In terms of concentration, uh, well, the youngster Ronald, he's only 11, which is a bit of, he's, it's a, bit of a pity. Then uh, the ones at the back, we've got Jackman is 16, Colado 17, that's not too bad. Bothwick and Adam Webster, who are both 33 years old. That's okay. They're quite old. Then what about jumping reach? Can they handle hitters in the box? We've got Kevin Jackman with 16. Um, sorry, Jackman with 14. Uh, Bothwick isn't so solid. And then we've got Webster. So generally, I find that my team can defend narrow. they got good positioning. But we might have a problem with some players hurling in crosses. So I've got to make sure I'm playing with uh, at least... I might have an issue at the back, basically. 14 for jumping doesn't mean that we're going to be very good at dealing with crosses because jumping reach is only 14. Uh, really strong players, they, most of them like 15 in the league. I've got a target man who's got jumping reach of 18. So if he, he can climb over any one of my defenders and get a header in. So that's going to be a major concern for us. And uh, in terms of acceleration, uh, we've got uh, four. The boys at the back, basically average acceleration, maybe one or two stand out, but the older boys are 14, 12, and then we've got Jackman 15 and 16. So, see, th this is how I analyze my team. It gives me options. So, I know that now if I play on the lower mentalities, if I go all the way down to defensive or contain, I'm going to have issues because if I play against a team that's got AMLs and AMRs, and they are, because once I play on a lower mentality, they're going to get a lot of chances to cross because we're going to be tucked in as we defend. So as they come defend, they're attacking us, they'll be able to hurl crosses into the box. So can my players handle those crosses? Well, not really. <laughs> so this is a bit... Uh, against other teams, maybe, but not against every team. Hmm, that's not too good. Now let's look a look at my, um, my midfielders. Now for the midfielders... For the defensive midfielders, I still want them to have some strong mentals, right? So I'm also looking at positioning. Who are the def central defenders? So here, in terms of positioning, 13, 12, in the, for the, whenever we're in a defensive transition, hmm, they might not be able to do that job really well. Uh, Excel uh, anticipation, we have uh, also generally low anticipation. So it looks like Kuchika has to be playing. Uh, Colado, Colado, Kuchika have to play their games. Then uh, Zuniga. So this is the, the inter from a defensive point of view, I've got these three players that can play games. Okay, now we look at our midfielders. Same thing I'll do with I'll do for, now with my midfielders. I'm looking for players who can attack space and create space. So now I'm looking for players who can dribble the ball, players who can support the transitions. If I'm looking at my um, attacking players, then I notice my off the ball. Mo most of my off the ball for my midfielders is only about 12 and 13. So the only real play player who does that is Schwartek, the striker. Then I got Germano with 15. And then I got Cesar Lopez with 15. So the player who is going to be. When I want my. Now I have to combine my central midfielders. I need to find midfielders who are both aware positionally so that when we're defending, those guys know where to step in. With, I mean, how to defend, move into the right places when we are in a defensive transition. Then I need the... the uh, the, from that same group, I'm going to have to find players who can also handle the attacking transition. So the attacking transition will be off the ball. So I need to find players who can who can add to our attacks, who can move into the right attacking positions when we are in an attacking transition. So here, um, when I look at my players, then it's not then all of our players again. I have only got a few. Yes, very sad. We don't you see this is my team. It's not we're not that fantastic. Okay, we've done all that. Now we look at our attackers. Now we're playing with a five three two. Right, so um, 
I need to launch attacks. I need to I need to get players away. Now I know that um, I might have to play with a DM in my system because my three central defenders remember positioning. They are okay, but uh, certain areas in certain areas they are quite weak. They may not be able to handle, so we may want to put a screen in front of, uh, of them. Now in terms of my strikers, the what what do I have in terms of the attacking in attacking sense? Now here I'm going to be looking at things like uh, off the ball. I also want to look at acceleration. So. The first thing I'm going to do is, can they attack space? Elia people is not available. Acceleration 16, first touch is 13. That's good. Betinho, 17. Uh, acceleration, first touch is uh, 14. That's not too bad. Zay Gomez is also not bad. Swatek, he's very good at holding up the ball. Okay, done. So what am I going to do for this tactic? Well, your tactic plays out like this. Now, my concern is, I don't have anybody sitting deep and hurling passes because I want to counter attack. I, I, I'm not camping here. So here, I've got no screen in front of my defenders. I've got nobody here hurling passes into space. I've only got this player dribbling and that's about it. So, hmm, we have to do something different. So I'm going to change this tactic around and include some attacking elements to the tactic. So here we have a tactic. It's pretty simple. I'm only using two shots, pass into space, whip crosses. I've got players who are in deeper positions looking to play, release players with passes. Um, we're probably asking to take more risk with his passes too. And uh, then we have uh, two guys attack. We got two guys working together to attack space. We got deep line four. We got a poacher who's gonna try and move into channels. Now poacher is really simple. Get he's very high in mentality. And he's gonna have an attacking duty. I could also use some a player like an advance forward. Uh, he'll be even further away, he'll dribble more, get further forward and move into channels. But here, you know, I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy, I like poachers. Okay, they've got Germano, Colado, Dominguez, the wing backs. well, he's told to close down more. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, leave that there. Dribble less, more direct passes, more risky passes, close down more, more direct passes, cross, cross and re cross aim for the far post. So he's looking for this chap here. Uh, He's also been told to close down more. I think I'm going to remove this close down more instruction. Okay, then we've got Colado. And I'm going to remove this guy's close down more instruction. So we're going to keep things really simple and minimize the number of PIs I have. Because even sometimes I get a bit concerned about the number of PIs I use. Just before the game, we're going to just uh, make sure that we have all, all our players have got good positioning. Okay. Submit the team. Now, you can counter attacking really depends on the roles and duties that you have on the pitch and whether they can take advantage of the situations that develop that allow you to you know to to take advantage and create counters so it really depends on the roles and duties you have and the players themselves whether your players can do something like that now i'm going to start the game on counter structure and then i'm going to change shape and uh i'm going to change mentality to show the slight differences here gabriel he just gets away with the ball you can see the players coming back his uh, hijack clears the ball He's playing on a counter mentality. Uh, the first priority is a low risk. You know, he's not gonna, he's not gonna try to do something with the ball. If he, if he, if an opportunity presents itself, maybe if it's low risk. Poveda, out to Mercedes, sells uh, the wing back. Dominguez comes back to win the ball, clears the ball, and that was not to launch a counter again. Ivekovic with the ball. Tola strikes. Now I'm going to do something different. I'm going to tell my players to do title marking. I'm going to push my defensive line slightly higher. I'm going to compress the amount of space that they have. Schwartek to Colado. Out to Hajek. Hajek looks at Zay Gomez. Uh, Colado now wins the ball. Colado to Germano. Germano up for Zay Gomez. Hits it down. Schwartek. Oh, the, the combination was nice, but it didn't really work out. Okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna give my wing backs a bit more freedom actually, but we got he we, we have this wing back actually aiming for Zay Gomez. I'm hoping that he can find the spaces. Silva with the goal kick gets it to Ivikovic. Now to Lewis. Lewis Colado clears that. Swatek to Germano. The boys aim to start something. Gets it to Colado. Colado to Zuniga. Zuniga finds Zay Gomez. Zay Gomez turns. He's gonna take it. Oh yeah, I was thinking of taking a shot. Dominguez putting pressure. Cecinion to Ola. They clear the, they win the ball back. Dominguez now with the ball. Plays it out to Germano. Germano to Schwatek. Schwatek out to Dominguez. Can we do something with this? Zoe Gomez inside the box. Strikes it first time. What a save from the keeper. Germano with the free kick. Goes into the box. Jackson, Jackman rather. Plays it to Colado. 
Colado to the Reeves, the def- central defender, plays it back to Jack. I mean, we've got two youngsters playing in this game. Jack, the uh, Reeves and um, Felix uh, Dominguez. Swatek headers, heads it down for Zay Gomez. Zay Gomez gets the goal. Yes, we finally got an our goal. So what have we done up top? Swatek is a deep line forward and support. And yeah, so if if we can, if they clear the ball, we can counter them, uh, and we can actually, uh, you know, this this is Hajek clears plays the ball up to Schwartek. Schwartek hits it down for Zay Gomez. Oh, that's class. That's what I wanted to see because Schwartek has got jumping of 18 or 17. He's very good in the box. Poveda dribbles his way, but he's not. he doesn't have very good scoring opportunity. So, yeah. So all we do is now sit back and wait for them to hit us a few more times because we are playing counter-structured. I mean, you can definitely push it up to... Okay, we'll now push it up to control structure and see what's the difference. Yes, we are all about experimentation here. Colado. Colado to Germano. Now, Germano has got the comes deep to get the ball. Play instruction. What this means... Oh, sorry. He's got to come deep to get the ball P, PM. And he's got... He's playing in a role that's got the PI get further forward. They don't so the PPM overrides the PI. Dragowski, the goal kick. Oh, that's too bad. Gets out to Warburton. Warburton. Bothwick Jackson clears that danger. Germano now is gonna try and launch a counter. Zay Gomez with the ball. He gets away and loses. But Zuniga. But can we counter press now? Germano to Schwartek. Schwartek out wide to Dominguez. Dominguez tries to get inside the box. Can't do it, but we still get the ball back. Colado wins that brilliantly to Dominguez. Dominguez crosses it with Schwartek. Lays it on for Germano, but somehow or another, the man decides it's better to miss. Oh, it's gone out. It's not a very good goal kick. Um, so, not too bad. All right, well... <laughs> We had we saw some elements of the counter attacking come into play. Our key pass combinations not that bad. I won't be jumping up and down in terms of possession, heat map. Uh, this is what I expected to see. N- we didn't control much of the game, right? Around here in this zone here, Burnley on the other hand, uh, they did a fair, fairly good job of controlling the zone. Uh, we were, after all, trying to give them as much of the pitch as possible so that we can try and score goals, and we did. We 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 sat back. Uh, we played it with a ra- largely a defensive formation, and w- the goal that we actually scored was uh, a ball you'd expect from deep to a guy who can jump and hit the ball, and he hit it down for a striker. He went on to score. Well, we'll have to we'll have to try this tactic out again in our next match. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the FM Tactics Show. Now, just re- we are going to do this again uh, for Armistice. Uh, we're going to play the next game using the same system. And we're going to try and see whether we can continue with the elements of uh, our counter-attacking style. Uh, well, if you have you, any questions, you know where to find me. You can look, always look me on Twitter at Busternet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for their continued support of the show. You make these kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.